What is up people, Dev Sage here, and I'm gonna be telling you about JavaScript promises. So you may have heard of promises in the past, but you never really understood what they were or how they worked. So by the end of this video, you'll have a, a more clear understanding of how promises work and when to use them. So first of all, what is a promise? A promise is an object that acts as a placeholder for some value that is soon to come. So the value of the promise isn't necessarily known when the promise is created, but eventually when a value comes, it'll be stored in that promise. So situations where promises will come in the most handy, uh, let, let's say I have uh, two events that I need to do, event A and event B, but I need to, finish event a before i start on event b but we don't necessarily know how long event a is going to, to take to finish so we use promises to ensure a certain program flow even if you have asynchronous events to kind of go even further with a more tangible example let's say i want to uh, request an image from some server we can call that event a and after that's done we want to store that image in my own database. Let's call that event B. Now, obviously we can't store the image in our database before we request it from the server, but how do we know when we're actually finished requesting it from the server? Promises. So I'm gonna kind of dive in the code here um, to kind of give you a, a better understanding. So let, let's say we have, let's make a function called greet and in here we're going to just console log hey how are you and let's say we have another function reply and we're going to log I'm doing great and below that we're just going to call greet and reply so if you run this, it's probably gonna, it's gonna do exactly what you think it'll do. It's gonna call greet, hey, how are you? And it's gonna call reply, I'm doing great. So this is kind of the, the behavior we expect. Um, but let's say, let's say I didn't immediately call greet or what I'm saying is, let's say we have a set timeout here inside of greet that prevented the console log from immediately running. So we put that in there and let's say we waited three seconds before we actually printed that out. Now greet is still being called first, but it may do something a little bit different than what you expect. So as you can see, the response Response printed immediately and then the greeting printed after this behavior isn't ideal because uh, obviously it makes sense to greet first before we reply even though we called greet first JavaScript is non blocking or asynchronous which means it's not gonna wait for any kind of set timeout or set interval to finish before it runs the next line it starts it but then it goes off to the next available line that's ready to to execute and then it comes back to it whenever it's ready so in order to ensure that the greeting is called before the reply every time what we can do is come come up to the greeting here and we can say return new promise and this is going to take in a callback function with two arguments resolve and reject and we're actually just going to take this set timeout all of that and put that in the promise so to kind of go over the parameters here, the resolve and the reject, these are both functions. 
these are functions that you're going to call based off of, uh, you know, whether or not the promise is successful or not. You're going to call resolve if your promise executed successfully, uh, or you're going to call reject if your promise was executed unsuccessfully. So, um, ideally, you would have some kind of logic right here to make that determination whether you want to reject or resolve your promise. So let's say, let's just say I had a, a, a variable here called um, succeeded and I set that to true. Really you'd want to make, you want to do, probably do something like if succeeded equals to true, then you want to resolve your promise else you just want to reject your promise. And actually we can take this, it shouldn't be at the top. We're going to take this and we're going to put it inside the set timeout. So of course this is very basic. This is just going off of the variable here, uh, whether or not we want to resolve or reject our promise. But ideally you would have some more complicated logic. Like if you were requesting an image from the server, you'd probably you'd probably make your conditional if image dot status code equals to 200 or something like that then you want to resolve the promise that means everything was okay uh, else you want to reject it um so that me that that's pretty much it for the greeting so what we're going to do now is we're going to delete that reply and so this greet is going to return our promise here and promises have a special little method attached to them called dot then which you can pass in any call a callback function this callback function is the function that's going to get called if you resolve your promise which means your promise executes successfully and acts as you know, it, it behaves properly as you want it to behave. So let's say I just wanted to call reply because if greet executes successfully, then I want to reply. But let's say for some reason my promise rejected, meaning succeeded was false. Let's just change it up here. This will cause my promise to be rejected because I'm comparing if succeeded is equal to true, then I want to resolve else reject. Then there's another keyword and there's another method that promises come with called catch. And this is going to take in a callback function that's going to execute if your promise fails or is rejected. So if I run this, with succeeded equal to false, my promise is going to reject and it should console log rejected. Well, first it should actually console log, hey, how are you? And then reject it. Uh, after three seconds, yeah. So the set timeout, it still waited three seconds, but hey, how are you? It waited on that before it decided to try to either reject or resolve the promise. So let's say I changed succeeded to true. This means my promise should resolve. And then this dot then the callback inside dot then will be called, which is it just contains our our call to reply. So if I run this three seconds should pass, should console out the greeting and then the reply. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. And it doesn't matter how long this takes, I could set this to seven seconds. The reply won't be called until the greeting is called and the promise is resolved. So that was a little bit on um, promises. Um, hopefully you got a better understanding of how they work, you know, what they are. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, if you, want, if you want more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and yeah, peace.